Thanks for tuning in once again. A little different video here. This is going to be a little bit of an educational class on pipe boots. Yes, pipe boots. At least two that I have here in front of me. So let's check them out. On the left side, we have the Cadillac daddy of them all. It's an aluminum pipe boot. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, look at the brand there, however you want to pronounce that. We're going to show you another one here in a second. So they've got these, which are like I said, the, the Caddy Cadillac, Daddy Cadillac, however you want to say it, whatever is your favorite. Ooh, it's the Cadillac. Um, then the next on the list would be a stainless, or I'm sorry, not stainless. That'd be pretty sweet though. Um, a galvanized steel. So when you have galvanized, anything with iron, and you, back in like, I don't know, second grade, third grade, it's going to oxidize. It's going to rust over time. It's going to look like crap. It's going to be shit. It's going to eventually rust holes in it. But it's going to hold up a whole lot better than contender number two we got here. Plastic. Look at this. So if you get in here and you look in here, it's probably the same damn brand. I know they make some. Yeah, there's the A-U-T-E-Y. Same brand, same company that makes this. You have the Cadillac. And you have the economy version. Well, you might be saying, well, what's wrong with the economy version? Well, the only thing that separates the two is probably eight to 10 bucks. But look at this. What's this? It's a shattered hole. What's that? It's a crack. It's a crack. Let's turn this over so you can see the other side a little better. Look at that. It's cracked right there. It's cracked right here. Got a crack right here. Crack right there. Right here. Right here. I'm not making this shit up, folks. Look at this. Look at that dirty dirt trail from the dirt and water that's come in over time. Well, when you got water splitting around this thing and diverting around, it's going right in through these cracks right here. You can't see it, it's shady there. There, now, can you see it there? My hand's casting a shadow. It goes in this crack right here. Here, let's do this side. See that? Not good, people. Again, same brand. Nice one, crappy one. They have in-betweens. I guess, it, let me relate this a little different way. Because I'm sure you've bought a, a car in your time. And maybe you go to a dealer, whether you bought new or not. You're going to go to dealer A and dealer B. And you're looking at the exact same car. And they're not exactly quite the same price. So you're just looking at price, you're like, hot diggity damn, I got a good deal. I'm going to buy it over here. No, you're going to look through and be like, oh, that one's got aluminum rims. Um, that one's got tinted windows. It's got leather. So smells good every time I get in you know those are the things you're going to look at and compare one's got hot spots satellite you know that justifies the cost difference you don't want to just commoditize shit and just go oh that's one's cheap I'm going to save me some money well guess what when you save some money that's what you end up with right here <laughs> and you're going to pay a lot more in the end so yeah, we got a flat bar out of section, bad rotted wood we got to buy all this new cut it out the labor to do this on a hot ass day why? Because you saved a few bucks? I mean, let's just... I'm going to piss some of you off, but I'm, this video is to help educate you. And when you're shopping for your do-it-yourself list at your box stores, guess what? This here, yes, box stores supplies this and Riffing Supply House supplies this. This one, not so much at your box stores. You're going to have to go to a Riffing Supply House or online to get these. They're not a whole lot more, but I can tell you, a few bucks more is going to be a great kick-ass insurance policy to this. Their ceiling damage, insulation is all wet and nasty. It just is shitty. I hope this video helps. I'm at two and a half minutes. I'm just trying to educate you. I planned on doing a video with one of these here. I put it in my freezer and I put it in there for a few days and I was gonna show you taking it out and simulate a cold weather application, whether it's springtime cold day, fall time cold day, or winter time and a coil nail blowing through it. The tip of the day, if you're gonna try to do the economy version, use a hand nail and a hammer. It's gonna gently go through and a lot better than that and it spider webs cracks through it. You don't want that. Not in something that's diverting water around. So, <laughs> oh geez. Take it from me. What's that old saying in that old Tommy Boy movie? Old Tommy Boy, rest in peace, buddy. You can get a good view of a T-bone by sticking your head up a bull's ass, or would you take it for the butcher's, take the butcher's word for it? <laughs> God, I messed it up, but that's what he did in the movie too. So anyways, take it from me. Save a few bucks and you're gonna go down this track if you pay a few bucks more, you're going to have a really good insurance policy. You're going to have a pipe boot that's going to last. It won't rust out. It's going to look good. Four and a half minutes. Let's wrap up. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below if you got any other better tips and tricks. Or if you just want to hate on me, I'm sorry I pissed you off. Anyways, have a good one. Until next time, be safe and see you then. <laughs> All right, I'm just about to pull back up to the job, so I gotta make this really quick, 20, 25 seconds. So I just left Lowe's. They didn't have the aluminum pipe boot that I wanted. I ain't gonna use shit. So I went to my local roofing supply house, another mile and a half down the road, and they had an aluminum mill finish one. 
So yeah, it's not powder coat black, so it's not the Cadillac daddy of them all, but hey, it's gonna be really damn good up there with it. <laughs> Fucking mind blow, man. Roofing Supply House has the aluminum one cheaper than you can get the damn galvanized at Lowe's. Now, if you wanna like get the plastic, I don't, I mean, you saw the video preceding this, so why would you wanna use plastic, say no more? It was only about 70 cents cheaper. So just Google Roofing Supply House. They're all over the country, if not in your town, near your town. Jesus, look at that. What is that, an R half? <laughs> wow.